we're hearing about viruses, I feel like now more than ever, or is it just that we have more information and we are reporting on them because of the pandemic and the interest in what's happening with viruses and poxes and all sorts of other diseases? Well, it's a little bit of both. You know, we have the the internet, social media, which really makes information and news circulate much faster. But we're also living in a time of increased travel, increased trade, uh, increased population mobility, increased population, and also climate change, which is really changing both the epidemiologic and eco- eco- ecologic landscape. You know, this is what is, you know, all of these things together make it a, a perfect storm for virus to spread, but also for us to understand what's happening in a much faster timeline. Let me ask you about monkeypox itself, because this is something that a lot of us weren't familiar with. We had heard about it before. What is it? So monkeypox is a viral zoonosis. So this is a disease or a virus that normally lives in animals, but can be passed to humans. Uh, at once, but now monkeypox, however, once it, it enters into a human population has the potential to spread from human to human. And that's what we're seeing uh, occur globally right now is increased human to human spread. And this is something that we didn't used to see in the early days when we, you know, I've been working on monkeypox for two decades in DRC. And what we really saw was an introduction from an animal to a human, but then only a few cases uh, occurring after that introduction. I want to ask you about this um, instance of polio. Uh, Should we be shocked to hear that there has been a case now in the United States where someone has polio, something that has been eradicated for decades? Well, you know, polio has been something that still is simmering in parts of the world. And uh, we are using a variety of, we have both a a live vaccine and a a killed vaccine. We use the killed vaccine here uh, in the United States, but this was a a result of, of, um, of, of it, somebody coming in from from elsewhere with it, but you know this goes again that there's an infection any. If what I've always say is an infection anywhere is potentially an infection everywhere, and in the world of increased uh, global uh, travel, trade, increased population mobility, we can never just say, oh well, these things are happening elsewhere, and they're not going to happen here. This is why, once again, we have to invest in public health infrastructure and situational awareness is going to be key. We're not going to stop viruses from emerging. We're not going to uh, you know, stop seeing a, a case here or a case there of viruses that may have been stamped out here in the United States. But if we have situational awareness, we can act quickly and uh, do what we need to do to prevent onward spread.